Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you, but it's going to be a bit different. So anyhow, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. If you feel like you want to get your own personal reading, links are below. Take advantage of the coupon codes. Let's get into it. All right. So how is this reading different? So yesterday, which was the 23rd, I did a reading where it really honed in on you, Aquarius, like what you need to do, what you need to focus on, what's the blockages in your money and your love. But now today it's going to be a reading about the person of interest, the person in your life, the person that you're coming to the reading for what's blocking them in love and what's blocking them in career and finance. All right. So let's get into it. Um, firstly, love, because that's what everybody's here for, right? Um, what's blocking your person is sage. Um, w what they're not willing to do is grow, mature, go the entire road. This person may like, like stop and go relationships or when things get too tough or too serious, they want to kind of bow out just kind of ghost or leave the situation or just kind of fall back. Um, they need to learn to be devoted and committed. That's the one thing that they need to learn in order to go the distance here. Uh, because um, your person is a, they might not do well in long-term relationships because uh, they just don't know how to. And, and also to do well in a long-term anything, you have to have a level of maturity. Think about some of you who have been in a career, in a job for a number of years. There has been ups and downs with that job or that career. If you didn't have the maturity that you had, you would have been gone a long time ago. Um, and, and likewise, your person doesn't have that type of maturity, tenacity, devotion, a commitment to rel love relationships, to romantic relationships. And it probably spills over into other aspects of their life. Maybe they are, um, you know, they change jobs a lot. They change their mind a lot. You know, um, they're just not, they don't have any staying power. And it's not like they you can't change this. This isn't a, a thing you can't change. It's just more so you have to be willing to change it. You also have to be willing to look at it. Um, you have to see something from a different perspective the per the reason why your person is not you know uh is having blockages or a block in love and love relationships and long-term relationships is because they need to shift their perspective they don't even look at love relationships in a positive light where they don't take it serious they don't value it they don't value a romantic connection maybe they value money or friendships or anything else more material things more than they value people relationships especially romantic ones um so in order for them to have long-term relationships longevity they need to shift their perspective here shift how they think about committing being devoted and committed some of your people feel like it's, it's going to be a uh, it's a prison sentence a jail sentence to be committed devoted to someone when if you look at something like that then that's what it's going to be right but if you look at devotion and commitment as i have a life partner i always have someone to depend on to call on uh, i have a partner in everything that i do um, i always have somebody who's there if you look at all the positives, then that's how you'll go into it. But if you look at it, you know, a negative, like it's a, you know, a ball and chain, like you're going to be tied down. Um, if you look at it, if you're looking at statistics uh, of divorce or separation or whatever, um, then you're looking at it from that perspective. It could be that it could be true. But if you're only looking at it from one point, one perspective, then you know that's the narrative you paint for yourself so it's like your person needs to shift their perspective they also need to shift their perspective about maybe masculine energies or masculine roles um maybe they need to look at their relationship with their father or lack thereof maybe your person doesn't know what it looks like to be a responsible party mass this is masculine energy so we could be talking you know to some of the men here um maybe your person just doesn't know what it is to be masculine okay maybe they're acting too much in their feminine where they're always creating they're always running off and creating 
a, create a relationship over here, create one over here, create another. Create, and they're never in the masculine energy of seeing something through and having structure. Okay. Because uh, that's what the Sky Father, which this talks about God, whatever who, or whoever God is to you, because it's different for everyone. But it talks about the uh, supreme being, uh, universe, you know. And your person also needs to shift their perspective about um about god the the god a uh, aspect in their life you know what part does the universe play in their life um they need to trust in the unknown here they, what, they your person wants definite and there's no definite answer in love relationships relationships are risk if you and i you yeah you listening right now if you and i became friends it's it's a risk we could be lifelong friends we could be friends for one day we could start to talk to one another and realize you know he or she is just not for me you know so it is a risk whenever you engage with another human being and it seems as if maybe your person wants something to be definite they want it to be you know um in black and white you know signed and sealed and that's not what relationships are you know so it's like your person, this is what's blocking them, their perspective on relationships. And then the fact that they don't even trust in the unknown, trust in the fact that maybe universe, spirit, God has their best interest at heart. So when you're, when you're not tapped in spiritually and you're looking at too much of the physical things that are real, things you know that are in the 3D in the world, then that's all you see, that's all you know. You know, so um, maybe your, your person needs to tap in on the God aspect. They don't have um, maybe that spiritual connection. And also maybe they haven't had masculine, uh, good uh, masculine, uh, what is it, examples or role models in their life. Um, so they look at maybe being a husband or a wife um, in a negative light. Okay, so... Um, this is what's holding your person back. It just looks like it just spells out maturity and um, your person might need to mature in some aspects, in some areas. And that's something that they would have to do all on their own. It's nothing that you can prompt them into doing. You could say the words to them that maybe you need to mature and change your perspective. But that's something that that's like soul searching and, and journey. That's something you would do on your own. So if your person isn't willing to do it, you can't push them. What is um, holding your person back in money, career, is visibility. All of these cards, okay, so I'm gonna read them out. And then um, inspiration, okay? Um, and then we also have a uh, celebration. So it's like, these cards spell out to me, it's like your person can't be themselves. They don't feel like they can be themselves. They don't feel like they can really embark on the career that really, um, you know, um, matches their soul purpose and their life purpose. They, they feel like they need to be chasing after money. You know, if it doesn't bring a large sum of money or a lot of money or a lot of stability, then they don't want to do it. And so they may be in something for the wrong purpose, not because they actually like doing it, but they like the, the end result. They like, oh, I, I get money from it. You know, we all need money. Don't get me wrong. Um, and we all want to make money from, what we really love to do um and, and sometimes that's the challenge in this world but um it looks like your person is what's holding them back in career and finances they just won't follow their heart's desire even if it sounds like a pipe dream it's just like they just won't do it because it's too risky it's like your person is really um really stringent really rigid like if it doesn't make dollars it don't make sense if the numbers aren't right then i don't want to be in it if you know they're that type of person um so uh, it looks like your person wants to pursue they have some inspiration to do something else maybe even entrepreneurial endeavor but um they're not putting themselves out there they don't feel like they can or they don't feel like they're accepted it looks like if they ever choose to do something entrepreneurial um, their heart will rejoice like in celebration like they'll feel better they'll feel open you know they'll feel alive I'm hearing so many stuff oh wow 
So um, that's what's holding them back in career and finance. I don't feel like your person has a whole lot of money issues, like they don't have any money. Um, but they're just not on their life's purpose or their sole purpose here because they just don't feel like they can do that or they don't know how to make this large amount of money here. So let's see what the clarifying cards are for love here. Uh, yeah, lover. So the lover boy. Uh, so there's, there's somebody here. you got a lot of masculine energy, a lot of male energy. So um, this person loves to be in love. They love to... Um, maybe serenade women, you know, make them feel like they're in love with them, um, make everybody feel like they're in a relationship with them. It's the lover here is, is not long lasting though. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow, doctor. So this talks about, um, needing to patch up old wounds, uh, either emotional or physical, definitely emotional needing to sit with a doctor a therapist, a counselor, somebody who can help them unpack all of this. Because like I said, they may have not had great role models of uh, what, you know, masculine energy does in, in love relationships. Maybe their father or whomever raised them was a lover, a lover boy, had a lot of uh, different partners. Um, maybe they uh, act out uh, their masculinity in promiscuity. They feel like um, as many women as they can get this is, it gives them power with the red cloak here. Um, they really need to fix this. There's something in their mental, emotional space that they need to fix because they have the doctor card. So um, it's like your person really needs help um, unpacking a lot of um, their own personal philosophy that they've created for themselves. And that's why they have that um, shift your perspective because the perspective they have could be that, let me have a whole bunch of women or a whole bunch of men. And this gives me power. I feel powerful. I feel like I'm in control. I'm in the, uh, the driver's seat, but they really need to go talk to somebody about this because they're giving their power away. Really. If you look at it from a different perspective, right? So um, that is what is happening for your person in love. Those are, are the blockages. Let's see what the blockage is for career and finance for your person. Yeah, your person wants to do something else. Their environment also, uh, the, their work environment is not inspiring. It doesn't inspire them to um, do better, be better. Your person could be in their 40s, 40 plus years old or early 40s, late 40s, but could be. Um, but they have like a kid-like vibe about them or a youthful vibe about them. And it's because the environment that they work in, okay? Um, they don't feel like they have approval from their peers or the people that they work around if they chose to really be themselves and show themselves. It's like, oh, let me, I'll tell you a quick story. Um, so there, there used to be this real like thugged out guy. I didn't date him, but a friend of mine dated him. And like, he was like real thugged out and all this stuff, whatever. He was like in the streets or whatever. But he was a nice guy, but he, you know, he had it, that, that rap, right? Um, but we were all hanging out one day and um, I used to have like, um, I was trying to start a garden, okay? In my backyard. And uh, I was trying to start it. Let's just say that. <laughs> so it really wasn't, it was trying to come together. But anyhow, we were all hanging out to my backyard when it sat on the patio. And he, you know, inquired about what I was doing. I said, I'm trying to start a garden. And uh, he started talking so fluently in gardening. I mean, like he told me what kind of soil I need and I need to do this and uh, um, banana peels and orange peels and tangerines and this and that and uh, rainwater. I mean, he just went all over the place. Um, he felt comfortable in that moment speaking to me about it, but I, I imagine that he didn't feel comfortable talking to the thugged out individuals that he hangs around about gardening. So your person may be around people who they don't really feel comfortable expressing what it is they really love to do because this this 
this quote unquote thugged out guy really, I mean, he had the tattoos and everything. He really loved gardening. He really, this was a, a passion of his. Um, yeah, so it's like maybe your person is in something where it doesn't allow for them to, to be inspired, for them to grow. Um, they could even feel stunted in their uh, financial and in, in, in their financial and a career uh, in their financial career field like they could just feel stunted like they're at a cap they could have been in something for 17 or more years um they they, they know that they need to change something about themselves uh let's let's open this up just a bit more and see what's going on for your person okay so this is like a deep dive into them maybe this will help you gain perspective about them Maybe you won't judge them so much. I mean, we have to judge them. You go in the grocery store, you judge. When you go, when you go stand by the apples and you pick up an apple, you look at it and say, "Oh, is this?" You know, you're making sure it doesn't have dents and worms running out of. It. So we we have to judge. Okay, so don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't judge. We do judge. We have to judge, but we should judge from a place of love and accuracy. Okay. So anyway. Um, whoa that car flipped out so let's see so something um like yeah something is suspended for your person like their growth their maturity level in love and relationships and in career and finance i don't feel like finances like they don't have any money but i feel like they just don't have inspiration to do what it is they really want to do you know um so something is suspended maybe um Something is suspended so they can look at it from a different, uh, a different, um, wow, this card came out, a different uh, aspect or a different perspective, growth. It's like your person does need to have growth, career and finance. Um, yeah, they need to see through something, okay? They need to see through the veil of, um, it's like they definitely need to flip something on its head. They're looking at something completely different. Um, can we open up this reading for love for what this person is missing so yeah but this person likes to take breaks from love relationships they could be in several different relationships um they don't like for things to get too serious so that's when they want to take the break here um they could also not feel deserving of true love for whatever reason you know um this could be depression it's, so it's like your person could be obsessed with I'm gonna clarify that what does that mean I mean because I'm I'm getting a lot of different messages with that one like it's like they could be obsessed with love okay with that lover boy card coming out lover card coming out um but they don't go the distance. Yeah, okay, eight of cups. Like, um, Self-analysis, um, self-respect also. It's like they don't, it's like your person doesn't want to completely give to a situation here. Um, out of fear. They also feel like um, they'll be discontent and bored in a relationship. God is coming out again. I said it. We've been saying it. Masculine. So this is a masculine energy. Could be a man. They're very caring, but it's almost like they feel like if they care too much, they're going to get addicted or obsessed. Oh, okay. So this person takes breaks because they feel like, okay, if I take a break from this person and then run over here to this person, if I just spread myself thin, then everybody's getting a little piece of me. I'm getting a little piece of them and it's not as serious. I don't have to take anything or anybody serious here. I can just overindulge. Hmm. I can just indulge, you know, um, I can just get what I want and, and be out and I don't have to have any real commitment. So that's how your person is right now. Um, let's see what else. What is holding a person back? Um, being happy. Like, I think they know where their happiness lies or what they could be happy in, but they're not going after that thing because it costs a lot emotionally and mentally. Like, they're going to have to, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else? 
for love for this person. Yeah, they, they don't, this was upside down. They don't want to be soft. They don't want to be red as soft. They, it's like they just have to feel like they have to always have this very hard masculine exterior. They don't want to be soft because it puts them in a vulnerable place. They don't like being vulnerable. They, 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 maybe they feel like they will be taken advantage of. Some of your people could have dealt with maybe abuse, sexual abuse early in childhood. Um, yeah, they want to give as little as possible. El cheapo. You know, they want to give pennies to everybody. You know, they want to, you know, and, and that's energy too. Yeah, this person loves everything about you. Aquarius and they do mean everything but they I don't think they would ever really express that to you okay yeah this person really wants you really wants to be with you yes you are their sunshine but at the same time they have some issues that they need to unpack with a doctor a doctor of some sort that they need to um, talk about they need to yeah this is um now they could be mixed race if they aren't a lot of times this card comes out because they are of two minds about something. It's like, I love the Aquarius. I want to be devoted. I want to be committed, but devotion and commitment takes a lot. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. You know, so they're of two minds about something. Yeah. So, uh, your person is all kind of emotionally, maybe mentally screwed up here, but not to the point where they're not, they're no good. It's just that they need to do the work. Okay, so um, let's leave Aquarius with some advice here in terms of how they should deal with their person, the person of interest in terms of love. What's the advice for Aquarius? Wow, it's flipped out forgiveness. So forgive them, you know, if they ask for it and you can just silently forgive them. I know years ago years ago I wrote several different people forgiveness letters of course I did not mail them I didn't mail them off to the people but I wrote it out you know and it felt so good to release and forgive and then I saw those relationships evolve over time and they have grown so much stronger and better so forgive ask others for help if you cannot you know this is the advice for you in the near future something is happening yeah, the, the, that relationship may, may, wow, can't make it up at the bottom of the deck. The situation will improve, but it starts with forgiveness. If you don't forgive a person for showing you exactly who they are, then what the hell are you staying around for? Or why do you want them around? If somebody is, um, if they have been, you know, in and out, uh, inconsistent, maybe even a liar, maybe that is just who they are right then and there at that present time. And you have to accept that and you have to forgive them. You know, I'm not saying that it doesn't hurt or they didn't hurt you. Forgive them. The forgiveness could be even, it could be, you know, said like, Hey, I forgive this person for being a liar, being in and out and inconsistent. I hope they get the help that they need and move on. But, you know, forgive just to hold on to that and harbor it for what, and it says that if you do this Aquarius, it looks in the near future, the situation will improve. But as long as you're holding on to resentment, uh, you're being unforgiving, you know, then you know what you'll get. Um, let's see what's going on for your person in career and finance. So it seems like your person is stifled or stagnant or they don't feel like there's growth there because uh, they don't feel like they, they are themselves or they can be themselves. They could be in a very materialistic vibe. Yeah. yeah. They're of two minds about what they do. It's like they want to do what they really love, but they also love money or they love the opportunity that, yeah. So something that they, they feel left out. They feel like something is being left out. Um, they don't have any inspiration. Yeah, they just feel like they can't compromise or there's no compromise or there's no give here. It's just, it is what it is right now in their career and finance engagement ring. Yeah, so something of value. So they could be really in this career because it, it brings them value. It brings them stability or promise because engagement ring is just a promise to marry. So it brings them promise, you know, for fortune, something of that nature. Um,
it's like they want to they need to write something down okay um they, they need to write out a, a business plan or they need to write out what it is they really want they need to write out their passion what they oh this card flipped out what they desire it, and it wanted to sh okay i try to put it back in there can't make this stuff up it's like they're stuck and, and they want to reconcile their feelings in terms of what they really want to do who they really want to be around what feeds their soul it's like this person just doesn't know how to go after what it is they really want to do and really express their soul's desire they don't feel comfortable and they don't know how to maybe make money from it how to make it valuable they just feel stuck yeah um let's see if you can help your person in terms of their career and finance if you are close to them if you are dealing with them let's see okay that card flew out of the day reconsider you can help them reconsider what it is they're doing maybe you can provide good advice or outlet or if they need to vent uh you can ask them what they really like to do wow as i say that this fell onto the floor communicate clearly yeah like maybe they feel like they don't have any outlet to communicate with people about what they really love to do how they love to do it um how they would love to start or embark on engage in let's see yeah a year from now things could look very different okay because right now this your person feels like things are just unlikely to change but within the next few months maybe their mind could change and they just need helpful people and you could be that for them if you feel like it if you do not feel like it is um feasible at this time then don't force anything let everything be natural and organic peaceful resolution at the bottom of the deck yeah so you can help this person come to some some resolve about all of these feelings that they need to reconcile within themselves so it looks like your person is all wound up in a big old ball of emotions that they do not express in romantic connections and in their career and finance so aquarius i hope that this reading gave you some clarity about your person maybe um it just gets the ball rolling if you want to give this person another chance or if you want to still engage with them um maybe maybe not you know whatever you choose to do uh, the beauty of it is you are a co-creator in your destiny so you can do whatever it is you want to do aquarius if you feel like you want to get your own personal reading maybe about your person if you want to deep dive into your person you can go over to the website book your greeting there ask a question or two um, about your person by texting it to the number below today is thursday you can catch me live tonight 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where you can come for the collective reading or you and you can ask questions if you would like so aquarius many blessings to you thank you bye